What's up guys, Sagi here and welcome to another Tech Gear Talk. Today we're gonna check out a drone that can do something that I've never seen another drone be able to do. Now you might look at this footage and think, well there's nothing super special about it, it just looks like regular drone footage, until you realize there's no one flying it. The Skydio R1 is a fully autonomous drone. I'm not talking about active tracking like the DJI drone with some obstacle avoidance. I'm talking about blow your mind AI and computer vision that lets you get shots you've never been able to get before. To quote Casey Neistat, who did an awesome video about the R1, this isn't a small step up in tracking and following technology. This is a quantum leap. And if you haven't had a chance to watch Casey's video, please go check it out. Although I can't imagine someone's watching my videos and not watching Casey's videos, but regardless, go ahead and check his video out. I'll put a link in the description. And Casey, you're very welcome. With my help, I really think there's a chance that you're gonna make it on YouTube. I believe in you. Anyways, what Casey said is not hyperbole. I was watching some videos of the R1 before testing it and I kept thinking, no way. I was like, I don't know how they're getting these shots, but they're not getting them the way they're saying they're getting them. There's just no way that this is flying on its own. So even after I got it, I was a little hesitant about flying it because, well, there's no controller. I've had a bunch of DJI drones from the Inspire 1 Pro to the Phantom 4 Pro, the Mavic Pro, the Mavic Pro Platinum, and I have my remote pilot certification, so I'm super comfortable flying drones that are under my control. Now, this was not it. I had to let go and then trust the R1 to do everything for me. Now, the results were me getting shots that I'd never be able to get otherwise. There's just no way that I'd be able to so smoothly follow a subject and at the same time avoid obstacles. When I first started thinking about doing this video, I was gonna compare the R1 with my Mavic Pro, but then I realized there's just no chance that I'm even trying these shots with the Mavic Pro. All right, right off the bat, there's just no doubt that this is the best autonomous drone, or for that matter, device that I've ever seen. I really mean this, like this drone is here and the rest of the drones are here. This drone, the rest of the drones. This drone, the rest of the drones. Now, on a technical level, the R1 doesn't use GPS for tracking or flying. It uses information from 12 navigational cameras and then it looks for regions of high texture in the environment and then tracks those landmarks in order to triangulate and track its motion. It then computes stereo depth maps from each pair of cameras and it uses that information to create an understanding of the 3D environment around it. Now from that point on, it's all magical to me. The R1 builds unique visual identifiers for each person, which it can then use to tell people apart because Otherwise, it would easily get confused if there were two people close to each other. The results that I've gotten so far are super fun. The movement is smooth, and honestly, from my skill level, I couldn't even come close. The R1 is controlled by the Skydio app on your phone, which lets you switch between different modes, such as follow, lead, side, orbit, and tripod. Now, an awesome new feature that was just released yesterday for the R1 is the ability to fly using your Apple Watch. So I just installed the app on my watch and I could put the phone in my pocket and change settings on the watch and that's kind of a nice bonus. Now on the other side of the equation, there is no real remote that can be used to control the R1. Now, there are some rudimentary controls within the app but they're super basic and you shouldn't expect to be able to do anything other than very slowly moving the R1. Now the lack of controller also creates limitations on how far you can be from the drone. The phone connects to the R1 via Wi-Fi with a range of about 300 feet depending on your phone. And I'm sure we're gonna see improvements in this department from Skydio in future models. Takeoff and landings are super simple. The first time I let it take off from the ground, but after that, I did hand takeoff and landings every time. And this is a huge plus for me because it didn't require me to find a clear spot on the ground in order for it to take off or land. Moving on to size, weight, and build. The R1 is not small, it's about 16 by 13 by two, and it fits nicely in the North Face bag that I got with it. However, these wings don't fold in, so there's really no way to create a smaller footprint. If I'm comparing this to the Mavic Pro, I can fold the Mavic and make it a lot smaller, so I don't need a very large bag. In order to transport this drone, you're gonna need a fairly big bag. But again, I'm not so sure that's a fair comparison. 
It's fairly light for what it can do at about 2.2 pounds, so weight wasn't really an issue for me. And I really like that there are prop guards on the R1. They made me feel even better about this drone not crashing if it happened to bump into like a branch or something like that. And they also allow for the cameras to be positioned around the drone. Now, the R1 uses a Sony IMX377 camera with a 1 over 2.3 inch sensor, which is the same size as the Mavic Pro, but smaller than the Mavic Pro 2. This camera gives you a fixed 150 degree field of view. Now, the camera is stabilized with a two axis gimbal for pitch and roll, and the pan axis is handled by the drone's movement. Now, the R1 offers video at 4K 30 and 1080p at 30 and 60 frames per second. The camera is okay. It's not fantastic, to be honest, and I would definitely give the advantage here to other drones on the market. It does really well when there's enough light and it begins to struggle in low light situations. But to be totally honest, it was way better than what I expected. What's exciting here for me is the Skydio did the hard part. Putting a better camera on another model, that's gonna be easy. Would I have liked to see a better camera on this drone? Sure, but I'm also putting things in perspective and thinking about how I'm gonna use this drone and what I'm gonna do with that footage. And personally, I'm happy to give up some image quality for something that I have no other way of getting. I do wish that Skydio included a lens cap, which they didn't, so I'm a little worried about this lens being scratched when I'm transporting it, and I'm probably gonna end up like putting a piece of cloth or something over it to protect it. All right, let's move on to recording and media. And one of the things that I love about this drone is that it starts recording automatically when it takes off. So there's no chance that you can forget to hit record, which never happens to me all the time. Now the videos are recorded to a 64 gigabyte onboard storage. Now on the one side, that's a benefit because you don't need a micro USD card, but at the same time, it's a limitation since you can't get more than 64 gigabytes. Now also, if something goes wrong with the internal storage, there's really no simple way to replace it. Each battery on the R1 is rated for about 16 minutes of flying, which I'm sure is based on optimal conditions. I got about 10 minutes when flying outside in pretty strong wind and about 12 minutes when flying inside. Now the R1 comes with one battery and I would definitely recommend getting additional batteries if you plan on shooting a lot. And flight time would be another area where it would be nice to see improvements in future models. Okay, so the R1 is fairly loud. Now I don't know if it's a lot louder than my Mavic Pro. I haven't actually done any tests on that or if it's just the fact that it's flying so much closer to me all the time. So it's not really so much that it's a problem, but just something that you should be aware of. Now people aren't used to having a drone this close to them. And of course you can just raise it up in the air and then push it farther away from you, which takes care of that issue. Now a super cool feature of the Skydio app is that if you're connected to the drone with Wi-Fi, you can actually export the high res videos right to your phone. But not only that, you can actually stabilize and even zoom in right through the app. And the results were really good. I ran a couple of tests and I was super impressed by what the app can do. And it definitely saved me some time in terms of workflow. Overall, I'm super impressed with the Skydio R1. The types of shots that I can get with it are just insane. And there's, there's literally zero chance that I could replicate them trying to track and follow someone. Now, the obstacle avoidance is absolutely next level stuff. Like walking through the woods with it, I thought that there's no way I'd be able to make it, but it had no problems. There are actually times where I was trying to mess with it and go into tight areas or under overhanging branches just to see what it can do, and it did crazy well. It's definitely not your typical piloted drone, so if you're looking for sweeping landscape shots, this isn't the right drone for you. But if you wanna get some incredible tracking and follow shots, there is nothing better. If you wanna just launch a drone and let it follow you running, biking, snowboarding, whatever, I just haven't seen anything that even comes close. You can get rudimentary active track on a DJI drone, but it's not even the same game. The R1 blows every tracking and obstacle avoidance feature that I've ever seen on any DJI drone right out of the water. As I mentioned, the camera is definitely not as good as what you're gonna get with a new DJI drone. But I would expect that this is the easy part for Skydio to upgrade, and I can't wait to see what they do next. I'm glad to give up some image quality in order to get the types of shots that I can get with the R1. And it was really only in low light that I felt that the camera struggled a bit. The R1 is definitely a drone that I can see myself playing with for the next couple of months to see what I can come up with. 
it currently sells for right under two thousand dollars and if you use the link in the description and then add a bag to your cart you're going to get that bag for free i really hope i was able to give you a good overview of the skydio r1 if i did please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up tweet it share it and if you haven't yet hit the subscribe and notification buttons you can always find me on instagram twitter and facebook at tech gear talk you know what i always say buy it nice or buy it twice good luck and see you soon